Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The latest data on the global arms trade, released by the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, CIPRI, on March 11, 2024, reveals significant shifts in both imports and exports of major arms. Europe has seen a substantial increase of 94% in its imports of major arms between the periods of 2014 to 2018 and 2019 to 2023, indicating a notable change in its response to global security challenges. This rise is largely attributed to increased sourcing from the United States, which now provides 55% of Europe's arms imports, up from 35% in the previous period. Meanwhile, the United States and France have experienced growth in their arms exports by 17% and 47%, respectively, solidifying their positions in the global market. The United States remains the world's largest arms exporter, delivering major weapons to a record 107 states, as part of its foreign policy strategy to uphold and expand its global influence. Conversely, Russia has witnessed a significant decline, with its arms exports having and falling behind France to become the third largest arms exporter. This drop is notable in its reduced trade with traditional partners such as India and China. France has emerged as the world's second largest arms exporter, with a significant portion of its exports destined for Asia and Oceania, particularly India. Ukraine has also risen as a major importer of arms, with the United States, Germany, and France being its primary suppliers. Europe not only imports arms but also exports them accounting for about one-third of global arms exports. This dual role underscores Europe's substantial military-industrial capacity and its significance in international arms trade. In other regions, Asia, Oceania, and the Middle East continue to attract substantial arms imports, with the largest share going to Asia. The United States remains a dominant supplier in these regions, particularly in Asia, where its share of arms imports has increased significantly. The Middle East remains a key destination for arms imports, with countries like Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Egypt among the top importers. The motivations behind these imports vary, including strategic alliances, technical capabilities, and responses to regional conflicts and tensions. Overall, the global arms trade reflects evolving geopolitical dynamics and ongoing security concerns, with demand driven by a variety of factors including regional conflicts and the desire for military modernization and deterrence. That's all for now, see you later.